Apparently we're going to Indiana today. So with the winter weather advisory, we decided to stop and get coffee so we can be extra focused on the road. Um, yeah, I knew we were going to get some snow tonight, last night, but um, yeah, it didn't exactly work out that way. Apparently we're getting it today and winter weather advisory, yay. So for you, the driver, needs a little kick in the pants. Got a caramel macchiato with half and half, three shots of espresso, ready to go. For myself, I don't drink caffeine, but I like fruity. I have a strawberry cream frappuccino with three extra pumps of raspberry and an extra scoop of strawberry puree. <laughs> and then our little snacky snacks. All surprise snacks. Surprise! I didn't know we were getting snacks. That's I awesome. I didn't either until I saw them in the counter. And I know that you, Tim, enjoy cream cheese Danish. So I got a cream cheese cream cheese Danish and a chocolate croissant. Score. Well, thank you. That's a really awesome surprise. Yay! Well, let's get on the road and we'll eat those. Yes. All right. Here we go. Bye. Bye. Travel update, we've just got a little past Valparaiso, so we are officially in Indiana now. However, that is not our final destination. Um, we did reach out with Jeff and Amanda, and we are in fact going to meet up with them, and according to our GPSs, we're gonna meet up around the same time, so that's pretty exciting. However, I'm not quite sure where we're meeting. We're going to what they call the Garage Food Hall, near, near downtown. Indianapolis. Um, it's like a collaboration of indoor food trucks and different little market market type things from local um, local people. Oh, that should be cool. Yeah. Right on. Uh, so it sounds like we're gonna go get food then. So that's great for us of course and then I guess we'll probably plan what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. I know there's a, a couple of ideas that were bounced around um, but we haven't finalized any plans. So, I mean, legitimately today is just a random road trip day for us. Uh, kind of exciting. So we will drop in and let you guys know what's happening when we figure that back out. Here we go. Bye. So we made it to the garage and we ran into Jeff and Amanda. Oh. It only took us like four and a half hours to get here. How long did it take you guys to come from Tennessee? Oh. Four hours and 15 minutes. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly in the middle. We so did. It was fantastic. Right now. Oh. <laughs> 
We are on a sidewalk right now, but there are also vehicles on this sidewalk. <laughs> we made it to disco brunch at the garage. Let's do this. I want to go explore this place. America. So this place is supposed to have a whole bunch of different restaurants that we can go look at. They were the culinary best. Different places here. Hard truth. Oh, we might have to hit this up. Lick, oh, this is the ice cream place, right? Yeah. Okay. Noodle Bar. Jay's Lobster Fish Market. Oh, there's like little baby lot. Like when you're at Red Lobster, you get to like look at, play with those things back in the day. We were talking about this place was looking really good. Nancy's Hamburgers, top notch. Looks like everybody's got like a video display board with their menus on it. The Pokey Guru. Shake beer and bar, baby. The Brazilian street food. Mama Poo Poo. Get up some hummus, yo. Cheesecake baklava. Brick and mortar outposts. Okay. La Chinta Poblana, the fusion. The harbor, this is where we get the fish and chips. Oh yeah, break it down, baby. Oh, Chapati B. We talked about this place, didn't we? Cause that's the beta. This is the one we were like, really wanting to hit up. Not a beta. All right, I basically think that's everything. We are now gonna go try and do some Duck bowling? Duck, bowl, duck, duck, pin, pin, bowling duck pin bowling. <laughs> Alright, we'll get some shots of that. Talk to you in a bit. Bye. So this is it. This is the 10th frame. What do you got for us? All right, 
Yes, on 85, we are officially tied with Amanda. And Amanda has her whole frame to go. Better ball. Better ball. Good ball. Good ball. Good, good, good ball. And right now our pin leader, Amanda, with 85, is up for her first throw in the 10th frame. Will she secure the victory? How do you feel about your teammates throw in the 10th? So day review from our impromptu uh, mini road trip. <laughs> yeah, to mini, Indiana. Mini vlog trip. <laughs> yeah, first time we're using our equipment, testing things out. Uh, Jeff and Amanda were doing the same things. We really wanted to just meet up with them today and kind of test everything out and, and you know really give the tech a good run. Uh, we had an awesome time, mm -hmm. despite the winter weather advisory that we had to drive through this morning. Um, everything got nicer when we got to Indiana. Well, we did hit a couple of whiteouts <laughs> yes. on the way down. <laughs> yes. Well, we did take a little footage of that, but the two worst whiteouts where I legitimately had to throw on the brakes, uh, we didn't catch that on camera. No. And I definitely wasn't pushing the button then <laughs> because it was definitely not safe. Um, but we got through and that was okay. Um, drive down to Indiana, it went good. We met up at the garage and had lunch with Jeff and Amanda. Great food there. We tried all sorts of places. Mm -hmm. uh, afterwards, we went to the pin. What was that place? Pin called? machine, um, right across the street in downtown Indianapolis. They had duck pin bowling, which is <laughs> smaller pins on strings, and you throw small little balls. The lanes are shorter. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. They had the uh, pinball arcade in there, mm -hmm. uh, Baki ball. They had a great bar. Yeah, that yeah. was sweet. <laughs> it was good. After that, we went to a milkshake place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not recommended. And that kind of yeah, speaks for it. it was, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, then we went to a nerd shop down that way. We bought some really cool nerdy things. Um, and then... Uh, Jeff and Amanda decided to leave after we were done with all that, and they're going home for the night. We are staying here in Indianapolis, um, and we came uh, to the hotel, and after we went to the hotel, we decided we are going to go to another game store that was across the parking lot. Nerd alert! <laughs> yeah, I mean, we get into that kind of stuff. Uh, then we went and had dinner at Flame Burger. Oh, so good. Yeah, which is also across from our room here, uh, across the parking lot from our hotel. Uh, great, great place. Amazing service. Our server was Dylan, but everybody there was excellent. And the burgers and the chicken. Uh, well, we didn't have chicken. You had a barbecue burger. Burger. I, think. Uh -huh. uh, I also had a burger, and we had fries and a bunch of sauces and oh. beer, and it was just a good, it was really good, 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 really good thing. Good. Yes. Would make another trip back down here for that. <laughs> oh, without a doubt. <laughs> Kudos to Dylan again. He was great. But I think we're going to wrap things up for the night. Tomorrow morning, we're going to get up and drive back home to Michigan. So, I guess, deuces, uh, yeah. unless you got anything else to say. Good night. Later, guys. <laughs>